Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another quick edit video, this time with an image from the Swiss Alps. For this photo there will be some very very minimalistic editing going on. My intention for this shot is to make use of the crop tool to get a very nice framing going on and to keep all those amazing original colors and just add some more contrast. It might sound and look easy in this video, but I actually worked on this shot for many many hours. So let's get started. As you can see I'm doing the basic raw adjustments in Lightroom this time. Maybe I switch over to Photoshop later, but first, before I do anything, I want to get the crop right. And that means I want the focus to be on this bright part of the image. And there's a lot of unnecessary stuff, especially down here and up there on the right side and also there's this gap in the sky which I don't want to be visible. So let's just crop this image. I don't want to take off too much of the top but rather more from the bottom. You can see I want to make this bright line lead right through the image up into the right corner. This looks really really good. So let's see, maybe I take some more off, off the top. All right, now that we have cropped the image, we can actually start with editing. And first I want to head to the lens corrections and just activate those two settings real quick. You can see, since I did use the telephoto lens here, the profile corrections do have a bigger impact on the distortion and it kind of makes the sprite area look bigger. So let's go back to the top. For the profile, I think I'm just going with Adobe Standard. So this will just lessen the contrast and thus give me some more control over everything myself. And it doesn't affect the colors too much, so that's also nice. Then for the white balance, I think I just go with Daylight. Again, this will preserve most of the color tones. Then let's play around with the tones. Looking at the histogram, we can see the image is more on the darker side. I actually want to reduce the brightness even more by slightly dropping the exposure. Okay, and as I said in the intro, for this image it's all about the contrast. Of course I want to start this by simply boosting the contrast. Just a little bit. I really don't want to overdo it here. Now on the darker side of things, it gets into the range of underexposure. So I don't want to boost the contrast directly. What I can do instead for some more contrast is to simply pull up the white slider. And just take a look at the histogram. The darks don't move further into the dark direction. Instead the whites just move up the histogram. And that's exactly what I'm aiming for right here. So let's carefully Bring it up to here, I think that looks good. And this really helps for this image. All right. So we still have some room to play around with the darks. Therefore, let's just bring down the blacks a little bit. All right. And now we do have some very, very nice contrast, which leads to a crystal clear image. Of course, we can make this effect even stronger by simply adding some texture and some clarity. Now we have a very nice structure throughout the image, especially in this bright snowy pattern. Okay, next I think I want to slightly boost the vibrance. Just a bit. So we do have some subtle blue color tones in the shadows and a slight yellow color cast in the bright areas. All right, that's it for the basic adjustments. I do have a one local adjustment and that's this gradiated filter which basically covers the top part. And here I just want to make this a little darker and thus lead the eye more into the center of the image. So let's bring down the exposure. Again I'm very very careful here since I don't want to overdo it. But I think that's a very good balance right now. All right, then I'm doing some minor color grading in this case. That means I'm simply boosting the yellow tones just a bit and that should be enough. All right, I'm not touching the blue tones since I think they look pretty nice. 
all. So there won't be any split toning with the color grading tab, but of course I want to sharpen this image. Okay, that looks good. Finally, I do want to add some vignetting. Okay, and that's pretty much it, I guess. You can see there isn't much editing going on. The biggest change probably came through cropping this image. Otherwise, it would have been a pretty boring shot, I guess. One thing I still want to do is to clean up the shot. I could do this in Lightroom, of course, but I'm actually just faster using Photoshop. So let's right click on this thumbnail, go to Edit In, and Edit In Photoshop. All right, then let's use the spot healing brush and zoom in a little bit. There you can already spot a sensor spot. Let's paint over this. And then I just want to get rid of distracting objects like this thing right there. And this rock standing out of the surface. And those lines. So at this point I already have finished this editing. I hope this was at least a little bit helpful, although this was a very very short editing video. Still, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.